Hi everyone. Today in this video, we shall see how to create a build pipeline in Azure DevOps for a .NET Core Web API project. This is one of the most commonly asked interview questions. How do you create SCI CD pipeline in Azure DevOps? We shall follow some basic step-by-step -step instructions to build and automate our pipeline. Pushing code to Azure repos, creating the CI CD build pipeline, adding the required task, and finally running it to generate artifacts. We shall be using a self-hosted agent to run our pipeline. A self-hosted agent is a machine, virtual or physical, that you manage and configure to run Azure DevOps pipeline jobs. Unlike Microsoft hosted agents, self-hosted agents give you full control over the environment. Right? Okay, first of all open dev.azure.com. Click on getting started with Azure. You need an account. Click on sign in. Provide your password. Click on next, skip for now. In the search bar, I search for Azure DevOps organizations. Click on it. Click on view my organizations. First, we need to create an Azure DevOps organization, which acts like a container where all our projects, repositories, and pipelines will be managed and grouped together. I already have an organization. So click on it. Click on new project. I give it name like JWT. Auth demo, JWT access token and refresh token. Click on create. Okay, we have created our project. Once the project is created, you shall land on the project dashboard. On the left side, you shall see the main menu with different sections like boards, repos, pipeline, test plans, artifacts. We shall be focusing on repos to push our code and pipeline to create our CI CD build pipeline. Right. Okay, the next step is to push our existing .NET Core Web API project JWT Auth Demo into Azure Repos. So Azure DevOps can access the source code for the pipeline. On the left menu, click Repos. As our repo is empty, Azure DevOps shows us a few ways to connect. So we copy the HTTPS clone URL from the top. We shall use it to connect our local project with this remote repo, right? Now open Visual Studio, click on your solution, right click on your solution explorer, click on create git repository. It will open a pop-up window for us on the left menu, click on existing remote. And here we have remote URL option. So paste your Azure DevOps repo URL here. Okay, next we need to push our project to Azure DevOps. It has opened Git Credential Manager window. <laughs> Provide your credentials here. Okay, it has successfully pushed code to Azure Repos. Let's verify. Refresh the page. Okay, we can see our project code is uploaded successfully. If we go inside this project folder, we can see all the project files here. Okay, we have successfully pushed our code to Azure Repo. This is very important because our build pipeline will pull the code directly from this repository, right? Okay, now our project code is in Azure repos. Now let's create a CI CD pipeline to automate build and publish artifacts. Open pipelines, click on create pipeline. Now there are basically two ways to create pipeline in Azure DevOps. One is using the classic editor and the other is using a YAML file. For now, we shall use classic editor because it is easier to set up visually and it's great for understanding for basic CI CD flow without writing any code. By default, the classic editor might not be visible in Azure DevOps. So to enable it, go to project setting. So we go to project setting. Pipelines, settings and disable creation of classic build pipeline. Currently, classic build pipeline is disabled. So we click on it to enable classic build pipeline. Okay, disable creation of classic build pipeline. This option seems to be actually disabled for us. It says this setting cannot be changed as it is enforced at the organization level. So we go to organization, organization setting, go to settings, and here we can see classic build pipeline is disabled. So we enable it by disabling this flag. Now we go back to our pipeline. Click on create pipeline and now we can see use the classic editor option is showing up here. So click on it, choose Azure repo git. 
and we pick the branch we want to build click on continue okay now we need to select a specific template so we select asp.net core apply it it three populates common tasks such as restore build test and publish in azure devops so we have agent pool as azure pipelines and agent specification it simply means which machine will build which machines your build will run on when we create a pipeline you need a build agent a virtual machine that actually restore your dependencies build your code run tests and publishes artifacts agent specification tells a user with os or environment to use for that agent for example we have windows latest ubuntu latest and mac os latest so in simple words this is where your pipeline actually runs your code and build steps you can select any option here but i select win windows latest here you can provide the name of your build pipeline for example i give it name jwt auth demo build pipeline restore download new get packages build compiles the code test runs unit tests publish prepares the compiled output and publish build artifact restore the output okay next we go to triggers here we have enable continuous integration so if we enable it and select the respective branch as a branch filter this will trigger a build automatically on every push to that branch if you don't want to trigger a build automatically on every push you can uncheck it now we go to save and queue choose save and queue to run immediately here you can provide here you can provide any comment before running the pipeline so i click on save and run i open this agent job okay after running the pipeline you may see this error like no hosted parallelism has been purchased or granted to request a free pipeline grant please fill out the following form this usually happens when you are using free tier a your devops account by default free tier organizations don't get any parallel job for private projects which means your pipeline can't run on microsoft hosted agents yet so there are two ways to fix this problem option 1 request microsoft parallelism grant this way you go to this url and submit a quick request once approved microsoft gives you one free parallel job for your organization and your pipeline will start working but this might take a couple of days to get approval right then we have a second option second option is actually what we should do now is to set a self hosted agent on my own system this way the pipeline will run directly on my machine and i don't have to wait for microsoft approval so to do this i shall go to my organization setting click on organization settings click on agent pools click on default click on new agent i will select my os in this case my os is windows and download the agent zip file click on download okay agent is downloaded so let me extract it into c drive and extract it into this agent folder put the terminal here and run the command press enter okay now it will ask you for the server url which is nothing but your organization url so we copy our organization url and provide here now you will have to enter the authentication type in this case we will be using a personal authentication token so click enter okay now we need to provide a personal access token this is just a security key that lets the agent connect to my azure devop organization so go to your top right corner in azure devop and click on your profile picture click here on more option click on user setting and there is personal access token so click on it click on new token give some suitable name like self hosted agent token let your organization here 
I select read write panic or scope you can select full access and then click on create okay it has generated token copy it make sure you copy it immediately because you wouldn't be able to see it again later right now I go back to my terminal and provide this token here hit enter now it is connecting to the server okay now it is configured press enter okay now terminal will ask for the agent pool name and agent name in this scenario, the agent pool name is default and the agent name is the system name. So hit enter. Enter replace now. Now terminal is asking for the folder path. And now we need to enter the path where all our files will be placed. I provide this path and hit enter. Now the terminal is asking to run agent as a service. In this case, we don't want to configure this as a service, so hit enter. We again hit enter. Now we navigate to organization settings, agent pools, default agents. Here we see agent is currently in an offline state. In order to start the agent, run the run command in your agent folder. So we go back to terminal and run this command. Okay, now you can see our server is listening for the job now. Also, the agent will be online now. And you can see agent is online. Now, in order to link our agent with the pipeline, go to project settings. Click on project setting here. Agent pools. Click on default. Go to security tab. Click on these three dots. Click open access. We have done this to grant all pipeline in the project permission to use the agent pool. Now we go back to pipeline. Open the pipeline, click on run pipeline. Here you need to select default, default agent pool. Because our agent is configured with default agent pool. So click on run. Open this agent job. Okay, you can see the error is gone now. Now our, all the tasks are running. What actually happening now, Azure DevOps is sending all the build tasks down to my local agent. This agent will restore dependencies for .NET Core project, build the application, run my unit test, and finally generate and publish build artifact, which we can use later in the release pipeline for deployment. So basically my machine is doing all the heavy lifting now, compiling the project and packaging it while IU DevOps is just coordinating the process. Okay, our pipeline is executed successfully. Click on build. You see build succeeded. So we don't have any tests. So finishing test. Click on build artifacts and it has uploaded artifacts successfully. So we go back and see this time our pipeline is completed successfully. Open it. Here you see one published, one consumed. Click on it. So here we have a zip file. This is our artifact which has all the information about our project. Okay, to sum up, in this video, we successfully created our first build pipeline in Azure DevOps using the classic editor. We pushed our .NET Core project to Azure repo, created build pipeline, and even set up a self-hosted agent. This pipeline restored dependencies, built the project in release mode, and generated artifacts. These artifacts are what we shall use in the next step of CI CD process for deployment, right? In the next video, we shall take these artifacts and set up a release pipeline to deploy our application. So you can see the complete CI CD flow in action from code to deployment. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching.